What's up guys, this is Manden Sokbakchi. Today we're going to introduce the new warrior class, Destroyer. We'll summarize overall information you need, so hold on tight. In the past, Destroyer was an uncomfortable class. Destroyer must charge for a long time to land skills on mob's head. This method was too difficult as more legion raids and guardians came out. However, Destroyer's convenience problem was solved after the class balance patch in May 2022. Destroyer you'll meet in any EU server is going to be a lot more convenient, so be ready to step in. Although it changed a lot, it's still a lot slower than other classes, so be aware of that. Next, let's look at the identity. Simply, you can stack up to 3 orbs using blue skills, and you can use those orbs to increase the damage of purple skills. If you successfully use your purple skill, identity bar increases. If identity bar is full, you can activate it by pressing Z, and you'll turn into gravity mode. In gravity mode, you can't use skills, but you get a shield and doesn't get knocked out. Also, you can easily smash foes with a few clicks. If you choose Hammer of Raging Raving, you have two choices. First, you can give half crit and half specialization. In this way, you can see big numbers if it's a critical hit, because specialization increases purple skills damage. Second, you can give crit the most, a little bit of specialization and swiftness. For example, 1200 crit, 400 spec, and 400 swift. This build is commonly used in Korean server after the class balance patch. If you choose gravity training engraving, you only have one choice. Your full specialization with a bit of crit. Specialization increases damage of identity skill so you can maximize your damage giving full specialization. Now let's look at class engravings and what kind of skills they use. First, Hammer Rage. In Korea, most of the destroyers use this engraving. This engraving gives plus 5% crit chance and plus 15% crit damage per orb on purple skills. With this engraving, purple skills damage massively increases which allows your destroyer to land big damage on mobs. Slow, but powerful. Let's check out the skill tree and tripods. These are basic settings used in Korean server. Normally, 6 skills are fixed, and you can decide 2 more blue skills between these 4. Some people do use 3 purple with 5 blue, but that's what you can do with level 10 cooldown gems, so it's not a thing to worry about for now. Basic rotations are simple. Get 3 orbs and use purple skills. For example, Heavy Crush, another blue skill, Seismic Hammer, Space, Injure Pain, Perfect Swing, Heavy Crush, another blue skill, Full Swing, Heavy Crush, another blue skill, Earth Eater. Second class engraving is Gravity Training. This engraving naturally restores the identity bar and gives extra 30% crit chance with 20% extra damage during gravity mode. Survivability highly increases after activating the identity and you can feel like you became a real destroyer to smash things up. Main skills are pretty much the same. Basic rotations are same. Get 3 orbs and use purple skills to gain identity. When it's done, the game starts. If you don't have enough skill points, use these skill trees. Destroyer was a difficult class before, but it became a lot easier and more powerful after the update. Also, Destroyer has the best dagger skills along with destruction, so it's great to solve mechanics too. If you like slow but one big damage, I strongly recommend playing Destroyer. Thank you for watching this video, and please leave a chat if you have any kind of questions.